Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. I'm Luisa Winters, and I'm Mike Zabola. Today, we're going to be talking about hot weather flights. We got some tips for you if you're going to be flying in the hot weather. It's coming up. It's going to be hot. We got to take some precautions. Oh yes, and we are all going to be flying out there because、uh, if you ask me, I'd rather fly in the hot. Yeah. Than the cold. Yeah.、So. Yeah. I mean, if I had my druthers, I'd rather fly in the heat. Right. What do you think the the number one thing is in, in all of this? There are so many,、mm. um, but let's talk about the drone itself.、Mm. So battery care. Yeah. That's that's a big one because、uh, your batteries will last、uh, less in the heat, and they can get permanently damaged as well. Yeah, I think、um, especially if you're flying in desert conditions where you're not aware of the heat, your body's not aware of the heat. Well,、right. your drone isn't. You're, you're not aware of what it's doing to the, the drone as well. I like to keep my batteries actually in a cooler、um, uh, with、uh, with towels over them and things, just to keep them just to keep them cold. I can keep them near me.、Um, I don't have to keep them in the car at that point. If I if I if I'm out. You know, out where my car, away from my car, right? For instance.、Uh, that's that's a great idea, and I do the same. I actually keep them in a cooler, and I put one of those,、uh, you know, frozen gel packs, packs, yeah, gel yeah, pack things, and I protect the batteries from any kind of condensation that that、right. may have with with the towels or Ziploc bags or something like that.、So、right. I've been. I've been.、Uh, I, I, I learned that the first time I went out, it was like those cold packs really sweat a lot. So you do have to put、uh, a layer of a、uh, towel layer or something, or something in between、right. the cold packs. And, right, and, and the, the cooler、batteries. is a great idea. And by the same token, I also use a cooler in the winter time with heating packs for the batteries.、Mm, so, yeah, yeah, it serves、uh, serves its purpose in、mm-hmm. both the、uh, cold and hot seasons. And when、yeah. you're out there, when you're out there, it's not only hot; it's very bright,、um, right, and that、oh, can、yes. affect.、Uh, One. Let, let's talk about the monitors. I mean, you, it's very difficult to see. You think, oh, I've got a high bright monitor. I've got, you know, I've got shades on my iPad. No, no, there's, there's no way.、Uh, I mean, I am originally, as you know, from the Dominican Republic, and let me tell you, flying in the Caribbean, say at noon, under di- direct sunlight. <laughs> on the beach, forget about it. You're not going to see anything on that monitor. Yeah, and I fly a lot of construction sites, and it's just wide open sun,、right. and it's just very difficult. And even if you can see on the monitor,、um, you usually have shades on、uh, to protect your eyes, hopefully, and that affects your exposure. So you, there's a lot of things you have to think of, think about. You have to pra- one practice in flying in those conditions so you can adjust your exposure with your shades on. But you also have to make sure that you have some kind of A shading device on your monitor. Hopefully, you have a high bright monitor, say a Crystal Sky or right. something. Right, the Crystal Sky,、yeah. which works so well, and they they sell two different types, right?、Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they, they... The, I forget what the NITS、uh, rating are for both of them, but I have the low bright, but it's 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 plenty bright for me. They also have a high higher bright monitor, right? Which is even、uh, has more luminance to it. So right, and、uh, I use those、uh, shades, but I gotta tell you, many times they don't work because whatever you're using, whether it's an iPad or or an iPhone. Or whatever it is,、uh, I also use an Android pad.、Um, it, it turns into a giant mirror. A mirror, yes. <laughs> you only see yourself <laughs> in the sky. I see myself, which is like,、uh, yeah, that's not what I want to see. <laughs> so you know, there are different tricks that I use. I usually have a visual observer with me, and if it's noon, none of this is going to work. But I usually use my body. Mm-hmm. To provide to shade, the、yes. shade, yeah, so、exactly. I just turn around so that my own shade shades the the monitor, and that helps me a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another thing uh, is uh, if you are flying with, say, an iPad or or、uh, one of these other devices, I find the Crystal Sky doesn't do this, but iPads tend to overheat. You should have a second one. As a standby, because if you're flying in, in extended operations, it's it will overheat,、uh, especially the older ones.、Right. With the、uh, older CPUs, they are just so they're just working so hard to keep up that、uh, they overheat. They just turn off. They say, "Oh, sorry, we're getting we're getting overheated. We're turning off now." Right, right. And quite frankly, <laughs> without my my device,、um, without an iPad or an iPhone or something, I mean, I might as well not fly. I can still control the drone, but I don't know what I'm shooting or not、right. shooting, so might as well land. So if you are in those conditions, another thing、uh, we talked about shade. You should have a.、Uh, you may want to think about it. Some kind of a tent. Oh my goodness! So, yes. Uh, if I know I'm going to be just standing in the, in in one place and then say shooting a sporting event or something like that, always from the side. Remember, don't fly above people. And I, I'll bring a tent. I'll、yeah. definitely bring a tent, and that helps tremendously. I mean, you can put these tents up, even a rather large one. I have a twelve foot one. 
you can put it on in about three minutes. Yeah, it took me a while to find one that was uh, lightweight enough for me to put up myself mm. um, that uh, still has wheels on it, but it folds up. It's 10 by 10. It's basically just the, the overhang and right. then the poles. Uh, but it folds up nicely so you can wheel it, uh, wheel right. it around, and, and uh, you can't put it up by yourself. So you just got to look around. Right. Um, and they are rather inexpensive for the most part. Absolutely. Um, and they, absolutely. they do the job. They pretty much do the job. Yeah, so. absolutely. And, you know, speaking of that, let's not forget about taking care of ourselves. For example, I'm wearing it because of we were going to talk about this. I use fishing shirts. Mm. This has SPF built in, so it protects me from the, the solar rays. So I don't have to wear sunblock when I yeah. when I'm wearing this, except obviously on my hands and my face. But, that's, uh, that's very good point. Me. Yeah, very good point. Um, but it, it only it doesn't protect your hands. Uh, one of the first times I flew in uh, summertime, extreme uh, heat and light. Um, the next day, my hands were killing me at the top right. of my hands, and I realized that you know I had protected everything. I wear long sleeve shirts. I actually wear something over my neck. Wear a hat. Put sunblock on my face. Right. I, ne I neglected the tops of my hands, and the tops of my hands were, of course, exposed to the sun. And you're out there, you can't, you know, you can't glove them for the most part because it, you don't want to. It's too hot. Right. Um, just make sure you put SPF, uh, you know, put some you know, sunblock, sunblock on, your, on the top right. of your hands. And right. Of course, your nose. My nose is always getting burned. Yeah, the top well. of my head, I always wear a hat. So, <laughs> <laughs> but the sun can be treacherous, and, it, the, and you the, don't realize. The top of my head, that doesn't happen. I okay, don't know why. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is easy to get heat stroke out there. So you also want to stay stay hydrated Absolutely. because uh, drink a lot of water. Um, you know, just as we all know, when you're concentrating so right. much, um, you forget what time it is, how much time you spend out there. You know, you're changing. Right. You're on your third, fourth battery, and you you, you haven't taken a, a, a water break. You may want to set a timer, maybe. To remind yourself. That's to a do great that. idea. Yeah, Every I hadn't occurred to me, but a timer for water would be a great idea. I usually yeah. just keep a couple of bottles of water with me, and then I have yeah. a cooler with water and refreshments yeah. and all of that in the car. We get one of those hats that, that have the straws that come down, you know. That'd be and, awesome. Right, so. <laughs> just no beer. Eight hours. Eight bottle bottle to the throttle. throttle. <laughs> <laughs> um, cooling pads are another good thing, I guess. I wear, I have this thing actually I bought online. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically, it's basically a chamois. Oh, <laughs> chamois. <laughs> it absorbs water and uh, you squeeze it out and yeah. it basically, it stays cool. And you put it, oh, it's meant to be around your neck. So not right. only does it block the, the, you know, so you don't get redneck, right. Right, extreme redneck, uh, it also helps cool you at the same time. Yeah, so. I actually have one as well mm -hmm. that I use it not just for flying, but gardening and everything else. So that, that, that does work. And don't forget to have cooling pads on your first aid kit. A uh, kit. Because if you get some kind of heat stroke, you feel yourself getting dizzy or whatever, those usually get cold if you break something. Mm, okay. It's like a chemical thing. Uh, kind of like the heating pads, right. but opposite, they get cold. And uh, put them on your wrists. You can put them on the back of your legs or your neck. So pretty much you let your blood just take the coolness to the rest of your body. That's very good idea. That's, that's why you put them in those uh, uh, key places. But have it in your in your first aid kit, the same as, uh, you know, burn anything, burn ointment or, or sunblock, that sort of thing. Yeah, well... Mm -hmm. I think we covered it all, um, but uh, that most definitely these are some things to take, keep in mind if you are flying in hot, hot conditions, just summertime heat. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a separate thing on desert heat, which uh, has its own uh, precautions it on really another uh, blog and podcast, so uh -huh. look for that later on. Mm -hmm. um, that's it for this that's podcast. It. I'm Mike Cibola. And I'm Louisa Winters, and together we are Mid-Atlantic Mid Drones. Drones. See you next time, guys. <laughs>